Hello everyone and welcome back to the Football Manager 2020 simulation of Euro 2020 and the game that we've got for you today is the second of our quarterfinals, France versus Italy and you know two teams that have looked really really good, France you know, current World Cup champions, they've got a fantastic squad about them, they're unbeaten so far, they drew one game but Italy have won all of their games and have kept clean sheets in every single one of their games, but can they do that against a France side who are pretty turbocharged up front? Let's be honest here. It will be interesting to see if you know the Italian defence can keep France at bay, or if France can really overpower Italy. So let's take a look at the teams. For this game, and on the left we've got France in a 4-3-3 formation that they've played all tournament so far. Lloris in goal, Pavard, Varane, Umtiti and Mendy make up their back line. N'Golo Kante anchors the midfield with Paul Pogba and Matuidi ahead of him. Usman Dembele on the left, Kylian Mbappe, no sorry, Usman Dembele on the right. Kylian Mbappe back from injury on the left and Antoine Griezmann up front. Italy have... The same, well, essentially the same formation. Donnarumma in goal. Lazzari, Bonucci, Chiellini, and Emerson make up their backline. Jorginho anchors their midfield with Zaniolo and Verratti ahead of him. Insigne on the left, Bernadeschi on the right, and Chiro Immobile up front. And it'll be interesting to see how both teams with essentially the same formation can line up. Obviously, and I spotted there that France were set up a little bit more cautiously so whether that means they're just a little bit weary of Italy counter-attacking them or maybe you know they like to play on the counter and it doesn't look like Mbappe's fully fit which might be a bit of a risk here for France as Bonucci picks up a yellow card in the first minute and you can see there on the condition he's really not fit enough to play well at least a full 90 minutes here um, and it's an interesting de decision from the France manager to play him here as Kante wins the ball back and sets up a counter-attack for France. What can he do with the ball here? He puts the ball in and that's been intercepted and Donnarumma clears that one out. But very curious decision as to whether to play Mbappe or not. He doesn't look ready to play. And yeah, he's lost the ball a couple of times already in the early exchanges here. And it could be a big factor here for France. And Bernadeschi gets in, Lazzari, and that's straight at Hugo Lloris. And there's not been too many highlights in the early exchanges. For me, it feels that like Italy have been the more dominant side, the one that really are trying to push for a goal. As Insigne whips in a corner, the Twilly clears it out, and that's volleyed clear by Griezmann. Lazzari into Insigne now. And Mendy dispossesses him, but only as far as Lazzari, who finds Verratti on the edge of the box. Now Lazzari again puts in the ball, and Titi clears. Immobile, Bernadeschi now, and good save there from Lloris. And Varane is able to clear that ball, but Italy on the attack once more. And Italy are really starting to look like the more dominant side here as Pavard heads that one clear. Matuidi loses the ball to Verratti, and Italy really starting to press forward once more. Bonucci now finds the ball out wide to Emerson. Great ball over the top there. And Bernadeschi's beaten in the air by Mendy. Lazzari nods the ball down to Verratti. Jorginho to Zaniolo now. And Italy really starting to assert their dominance on play here as Lazzari's found by Jorginho. And Mendy picks up that ball. And Mbappe's long ball to Griezmann's found, but he's not got many support with him. Tries to go himself from something like 35 yards, but that's well wide of the far post. 
Lloris clears that one out, but it's only as far as Insigne. Not the best goal kick there from the Tottenham goalkeeper. And he's spilt that and somehow manages to avoid conceding a corner as Mbappe heads out that cross in. And Italy are starting to look like the World Cup champions here. You know, it's not the most characteristic performance from France. They are usually the ones to dominate all of the play, all of the chances, as Zaniola is beaten in the air. Insigne now on the ball once more. Can he put in a ball? And Paul Pogba looks to have tripped him up. The referee is checking VAR here. And with something like six minutes until half time, this could be a massive decision here. It's usually a penalty in this case. And the referee points to the spot. And Italy have a golden opportunity to take the lead in the 40th minute here. Chiro Mobley has scored two in the tournament. He's made it three. That's his third penalty of the tournament that he scored. His fourth goal of the tournament for Chiro Immobile. And you can see here, sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Tucked it into the bottom corner. And I don't think... Lloris would have saved that even if he had gone to the right side. And Italy have taken a 1-0 lead into half-time in France. They just look like they're being totally outplayed here. They've only had two shots in the first half. Neither of them were on target. One of them from Griezmann was from about 35 yards, which was nowhere close to going in. Italy have looked really, really good here, and you know, knocking out the World Cup champions and arguably one of the best teams on paper is a massive step in them essentially winning it. Verratti's controlled the midfield really, really well for Italy, and Kylian Mbappe, who's one of France's danger men, is clearly not fit to play in this game. But let's see what the second half has in store for us and whether France can respond. And you can see there Mbappe's been taken off at half-time and Anthony Martial has been put on in his place. And we spoke essentially at the start of the game. Mbappe was not ready for this game. He really was not match fit for this game. And it showed in his performance. And he's been taken off at half-time. He really could have been saved for this it almost seemed like France were playing with 10 men at some point but he could have been saved for maybe late on in the second half or as Griezmann who looks like he's playing on the right now but I probably would have saved Mbappe for maybe extra time or maybe even the next round should France have gotten through but Lazzari now on the ball the ball comes in Insigne's tucked that in great ball in from Lazzari and great predatory poaching there from Lorenzo Insigne and he started the move there played it out wide to Lazzari and then just darted towards that far post and great play by Lazzari and fantastic ball in to find the winger there and Italy have doubled their lead here and France need to do something if they want to rescue this game. They've played fantastically well as Griezmann's free kick is saved by Donnarumma. And that's, a, you know, it's taken 65 minutes and that's the first shot that France have on target in this game. And it's really an uncharacteristic performance here from France. They just haven't looked up to it today. They've still got 20 minutes to rescue this game and they do have the quality to be able to do that as Martial. Ball over to the far post and Dembele's header. In previous games you would have put money on him to score that and you know, Dembele's been taken off at Kings of Command now. 15 minutes for them to rescue this game and take this to at least extra time as Pogba finds Martial and then finds Furlan Mendy. And that's tipped over by Donnarumma. 
Laporte comes on for Umtiti as Coman's corner is cleared by Chiellini and France still on the attack once more. Pavard into N'Golo Kante. Matui into Pogba now. And just exchanging passes in the Italy half. Full on Mendy on the overlap now. Back to Paul Pogba. Mendy and Pogba exchanging passes now. And that's been blocked. Kante on the ball. Back to Matuidi. Who finds Pavard in space on the right hand side. And he's tried to find that little ball in. But he couldn't do so. And Italy are defending really, really well here. As Pogba, that's been tipped wide by Donnarumma. Martial on the ball, but he was offside. And if Italy can maintain this, they could potentially be looking at five straight clean sheets. But with the firepower that France have, you can't rule them out as Politano picks up that ball. Now Jorginho into Emerson. Chiellini now. And Italy just looking to kill this game off and just restrict France to minimal chances as that's not the best ball forward from Insigne to Immobile as Matuidi finds Pogba and that's a great ball out wide to Martial. Can he do something here from that left-hand side? Coman now on the ball, Emerson tackles and Coman's wild effort with his left foot goes well over the bar as Italy with a few minutes left look like they are going to be going into the next well into the semi-finals here but France starting to really grow into this game it's better late than never but have they left it too late here as Martial's effort is blocked Coman now that's been tipped wide by Donnarumma and Italy just about hanging on for their dear life here is Coman's corner is put in Chiellini nods that one out but Laporte picks that up Ferro Mendy now. The ball is blocked and can Italy counter here with Jorginho. He couldn't find the ball ahead of him to Immobile and that's not the best ball from Bonucci. Now Martial comes inside and hits the side netting of that near post and Italy have gotten away with one there. France just look desperate at the moment and that desperation is not helping them Lazzari puts a ball in Zaniolo should have done better there he was right in front of goal and just couldn't get anything behind that but Zaniolo now plays the ball forward Laporte clears that one out and Martial is dispossessed by Lazzari now Verassi into Politano. Insigne now. Emerson. Over the top to Politano. And can Italy get a third? No, that's blocked. But Lazzari puts the ball in. And that's not a clear. And it looks like this is that. And for some reason, that throw just went out for a goal kick. I think it might have been from Kingsley Coman's knock. And Italy have kept a fifth straight. Clean sheet and knocked out World Cup champions France. And what a performance this was from Italy. Absolutely deserved their victory. They dominated France in the first half. Got that penalty just before half time to take the lead. And then before France could even get into the groove in the second half, Lorenzo and Signe doubled the scoreline. And Italy just held on. Great performance there from the Italians. And you've got to say they deserve their win. And arguably the favourites for this tournament have been eliminated. And this really opens up the rest of the tournament. And you know, there's some big teams left in it. There's some tasty looking quarterfinal games left to go. And I can't wait. But that's going to be the that's going to be it for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future episodes, and make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss a video. And I'll see you for the next quarterfinal. Thank you.